This is number nine, part C. I'm gonna give you a little, little, little bit pointer in this thing. In this problem, it says I'll put all the sum of the even numbers between between your first number and your second number. So doesn't number D, uh, C? I'm sorry, we're we doing C uh, of the even number. So what's how's that different from what we just did up here? Okay. So if I took this structure right here, I'm looking at, if I look at this structure, it's just a snapshot, this structure for part B. I'm looking for is the even number, right? That's all I'm doing, uh, the odd numbers. So this determines the odd number going from certain odd to the next odd to the next odd, correct? So what if I just take the same structure that I have right here? I'm going to put this down here, but in it's totally opposite because in this case, what I'm looking for is the even number. If it's true, if it's an even number, I just want to assign first number as the counter. So I need to remove this, kind of flip this thing down here with it. So this becomes what? This becomes my odd number in this thing. You see how I did that? So that just flips it. On the other hand, if you look at the way how you want to take a look at this thing, the only different in here, now this becomes what? This becomes your initialization of your while loop. Your while loop, okay? This is your while loop again. So we're gonna just take that while loop that you have down, down in part B. Now, the only part that's different is this part right here, okay? Because what you wanna do is take the sum of all the even number sum of the even number. So the sum of the even number is what? It's your sum even plus what? Your counter. All that needs to equal to what? Sum of even. Okay? So your sum of even, your sum of even now is zero. Okay? So this is the difference a number C and the one above it with it. Again, you still have to output this thing. You need to output this thing. I'm not going to do this for you. Like you would uh, need to output from, uh, from, uh, from, 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 you know, do your C out with it. So in this case, you would actually need to output the, the sum of the even number and you tell me what is, what is this. So you still need an output statement in here. Okay. Need an output statement for um, the sum of the even. Okay, so you do it here. I'm not going to do it for you. Uh, the next part is part D in this thing. Okay, part D asks you, I'll put all the odd numbers in their square between 1 and 10. Wow, now they're asking for a little bit more of this thing, right? So maybe I need to I'll put, you know, comment this thing, part D, and maybe you need to give them, tell me this is C out. You know, uh, tell me this is part D for me in here so I know. Uh, this is part D, something along this line here, okay? So, somewhere along that line with this. Now, if you look at this thing, part D, what are you really looking for? The sum of all the odd numbers, um, um, sum, I'll put all numbers in their square by 1 through 10. So, in other words, it's going to output like what's 1, kind of like space over, squares what? 1, 2 squares what? four, okay, three squares what, nine, so on and so on. You get the drift. So you, this, by looking at this, I got some columns here I got, I need to configure, and I need this over here to configure. So just FYI, on the top of this thing, what do I need? Besides if I'm using uh, IO stream, I need what, pound, include. If I'm doing columns, I need something else called IO manip, okay, something like this, remember this? So coming down here inside of this thing, I'm going to need to do some reading in of the file with this thing, with it. So I need to start with a counter, okay? So let me, let me recommend you do with a counter with this thing. So do counter um, equal to 1, for example, okay? Because you know it's going to start with 1 and you will go all the way up to 10, right? So this is your initialization. And you have your while loop and you're going to do what? Counter is less than... 10, okay, what do you want to do when it actually becomes uh, less than or equal to 10 inclusively, I'm sorry, and then you're going to actually put this in here with it. So 
here's what we're looking at. Okay, so how, remember how you do the columns? You do C out. What? Okay, what do you put here? Set W4, remember that? And then you do your counter. Okay, this is your counter, your, uh, whatever it is that's, that's in here. So you, you put counter right here. Okay, and then you do set, give it, I don't know, set 17, 18, 15, somewhere about in here. Give it another set, then parentheses 18 with it. And then you have to do what? Another counter output. This time it's square. So you got to do what? Counter counts times counter. Counter times counter. Okay? And that will give you end of line. Okay, so this, so my whole point, yeah, set with four. This gives you the first counter or whatever that's, that, that one's going to be. And then this is what? Set with. 15, 18, whatever you want to set with this with us. Now, you still need to have what? An update statement, right? So how do you update? Counter, increment, increment. Okay, so that's how you update it with it as well with it. So that takes care of part D.